Hey crafty people, it's Tasha, back with another video tutorial for Pear Blossom Press. I've been wanting to play with these scratch off stickers that Amanda sells for the longest time and I think I might be a little addicted now you guys. <laughs> Let me show you how cool these are. So I have a stencil and a stamp set from the Meet Me at Midnight card kit along with the pack of scratch off stickers. Now I'll show you all the different ones you get inside in a little bit, but let's work on that gorgeous ombre ink blending first. I've got my stencil taped onto an A2 panel of Nina Solo White 80 pound, and I'm starting with Pucker Up from Catherine Puller Designs over the whole image. I'm using a blending brush and taking the brush to my ink first and gently tapping it just to pick up some ink. Then I always like to tap off the excess onto the inside of the ink pad lid before bringing it to my paper. That's really going to help you avoid getting any harsh ink splotches where you touch your brushed paper for the first time. So now I have colour over the whole image. I'm grabbing a deeper purple shade and this is Driving again from Catherine Pooler. I'm also going to switch my brush so that I don't contaminate my other brush with that much deeper shade. I want to focus this shade on the wrist area of both hands, so I'm just repeating the same technique as I did with the pink before. I'm building up the colour gradually to give me a smoother transition into that pink, but with a really deep shade at the very bottom. Now I can go back in with the pink to smooth that blend area and also to just up the intensity of the colour across the whole image. Now we can peel and reveal to see how that came out. I love how vibrant it is. Next we can move on to the stamping phase of this card. This stamp set includes loads of different Taylor Swift lyrics but the one I'm interested in today is Karma Is. I'm stamping that into the centre of the heart shape that these hands make in Versafine Onyx Black for a really deep and crisp transfer. I'm using my Mini Misty so that I can double stamp if I either need or want to. Now, this lyric is from the song Karma, and during the song, Taylor describes Karma as being loads of different things. And this stamp set includes several of them in these little kind of love heart sweets style shapes. So my idea is that I will stamp out three different options, which I can then cover with one of the stickers each for a recipient to then scratch off to see which one they get. I want to be sure that the mini stamps are in the right place to fit one sticker over each. So the easiest way to do that is to use the stickers themselves to position my stamps. Let's take a look at what you get in this set because you get a real variety of shapes, sizes and finishes. So you can make so many different projects using them and they're a really fun and super easy way to add an interactive element to your designs. You're going to get the usual matte, silver and gold, but then you also get these amazing holographic ones too. And the small circles are looking perfect for this design. I'm cutting off the three stickers that I need for my design and everything else can go back in the pack for future projects. So my panel is going back into my mini misty and the three stickers fit really nicely between the arms of my image, which wasn't planned that way. So yay for happy accidents I guess. <laughs> so like I said there's a few different options to finish the sentiment with but the three that I went with are Karma is a queen, a relaxing thought and a cat. I decided to turn the stickers over just in case the stamps pull off any of that coating that's on them and then I can place one stamp onto each sticker and pick those up on my misty lid. I can then stamp them in the same Versafine Onyx Black ink. This ink does take a little longer to dry as it sits on the surface of the cardstock so I need to leave that to dry for a while before I add the stickers otherwise they might not stick properly or they might even smudge the sentiments themselves. So I'm trimming the panel down whilst I wait and I'm going to mat this onto a piece of holographic cardstock from scrapbook.com. I really think this piece is a really good match to the stickers, which is just one of those little added bonuses. 
Once that white panel is on the holographic, I can trim that down to give me a thin border all the way around before adding that to an A2 panel of Oreo Crunch, which is black, cardstock, leaving a strip of black showing at the bottom with a thin border on the other three sides. Now we add the stickers. They peel off from the real... They peel off from the release paper really easily and they feel quite substantial. Uh, they, they're not going to go floppy and bend as you try and place them. I started in the centre to help me keep them even and I'm just gently rubbing my finger over the area to make sure that it's stuck down well. And that's it. This is such an easy and fun way to make a really quick interactive card. Or you can of course use these on any of your projects. Think about how else you could use them, maybe for a gift tag or as a homemade scratch card with potential gifts or chores you'll do that can be uncovered. I love them. If you aren't already subscribed, then please consider hitting that button. Have a lovely, happy, safe and wonderful week. Stay crafty. Bye.